Hi, this is Sandy Sleeves, BSG. <clears throat> Sorry, I haven't been back to you in a while. Um, just kind of adjusting and doing um, some of the things that I need to do to stay on plan. It's been a little difficult trying to plan meals, so I'm, I try every night to make something that... Um, Sorry, I have my reading glasses on. Try every night to make something that I can have, you know, for during the week so that I'm not eating the same stuff all the time. It kind of gives me a little variety. So I bought, um, I don't know, the little jello shot things from Gordon's with the little covers, the clear covers. And so, like, I'll make tuna up for a week or three or four days and put them in that um, jello and pudding and bean dip. Um, I don't know if you've ever had the seven layer bean dip, but um, I kind of made a modified one with the stuff that we can have like uh, on the soft stage, like refried beans, um, Greek yogurt with taco seasoning in it, avocado, um, and a little bit of cheese soup on top. And then I just warm those in the microwave just like a couple of seconds, just enough to get it warm. I like it warm, I don't like it cold. And then I eat it with um, they allow us to have these cheddar cheese. They're supposed to be like crackers, but they're not crackers. Um, they're protein. We get I got them from Grand Rapids Health Partners. Um, so I've been like kind of trying to do that. Um, another thing that I started was water aerobics. Best thing I ever did. Um, I have two classes on one on Monday and Wednesday, which are warm pools, kind of an easier class. I come home. I exhausted when I get done because of the hot water uh, but on Saturday I take this awesome class and I'm bugging them trying to get them to do it um, Monday and Wednesday as well it's in the big the deep pool and you wear ankle weights and um, you have weights and you know weights in your hand and belts and it's just awesome it's such a great workout so that's what I've been doing for exercise I'm gonna start putting in regular aerobics on my off nights um, next week the pool's closed, so I'll probably be doing something like that all week long. Maybe some biking, um, some walking, but I haven't really started running yet. Um, I plan to. I just kind of move in my gym membership from one place to another. So I'm trying to get situated and get things where I want them to be. Um, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday I'll be gone on a girls' weekend, which is going to be a challenge for me because... I have to take all my own food. Um, sometimes they go out and drink. I won't be able to do that. Uh, but it sounds like they know the journey I'm on and um, they're trying not to focus on food and drinking. And so we're going to be doing some uh, boat rides and some sailboat rides in the evening and beautiful sunsets and things like that. Um, so I think I can take my own food and kind of work things in and, you know, they can have what they want and I'll, I'll have what I need to eat. Uh, I'm doing really well. I notice a big difference in, like, I, I went to get in the shower and I looked in the mirror and I was like, are those my shoulders? Um, so, yeah, and I noticed it in my face. I hadn't seen my best friend in a week. Just, it's only been a week since I hadn't seen her. And I saw her last night and she was like, oh my God, you look so different. You've lost so much weight. You look so much thinner. And I do notice it in my stomach too. Um, but I think the core workout on the, on the aerobics is really helping with that. Let me see my notes. What else? Um, so I'm, I'm kind of preparing this weekend, trying to figure out what I'm going to take next week so that I can maybe make it on like Thursday, um, and get everything ready to go. The other challenge I'm having is my clothes. <laughs> I'm down a size, which I luckily do have the next size down because I did save everything. Uh, but my closet's filled with all the old ones, so I'm trying today to go through all the larger size clothes. I don't know what to do with them. I mean, I got some jeans, Miss Me jeans, and seven jeans I paid $150 for that I can't wear. Um, so I'm working on that. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Um, some of them still have tags on. They're not very old. One, Some of them I've only worn once. I'll figure it out, but um, I got to get them out of my closet. They're taking up space um, because I can't wear them anymore and I need to move down to the next size. Um, so that's what I'm working on there. Uh, what was my next one? We talked about meal planning. I talked, oh, 
in my older clothing. So I did go out and buy a new dress for um, a wedding coming up. And that's kind of exciting. Uh, but I know I won't be able to wear that long. Luckily I got it on sale and then I got $20 off. So it was like $30. So that, that works out. And I have shoes. Oh, shoes are another thing. I've gone down a, a half a shoe size already. Um, I'm only four weeks. And so it's been a half a, a half a shoe size already. So things are feeling different. My rings, I had um, size eight rings. And I used to wear, when I was thin, I wore um, a four and three quarter size ring. I was tiny. Um, but now I'm in a seven. So my bigger rings are just like, they were twirling around my finger. Um, I can wear shorter necklaces now. I don't know. When you have a fat neck, you know, you, you try to get the longer necklaces so that they look better on you. But now I can wear a two-inch shorter chain than what I was wearing. So that works. Um, but that's about it. I mean, not a, a whole lot of change. I'm still on this, I'm still on this um, diet for another two weeks. I have to work out of town in two weeks, right before my, my doctor appointment. So that might be a little bit challenging too, because I'm in a hotel and I don't know if it has a refrigerator or what it has. So we'll get through it. And then I think that like the following day after my, after I work out of town, that's the day of my doctor's appointment where I'm sure they're going to put me on an extended menu then, um, because I'll be off the soft food menu. But I'm feeling great, doing great, and I just wanted to update you since it had been four weeks, and I think I missed the three weeks because I was busy trying to do aerobics and make meals and get everything around. But So that's where I am. I'll keep you posted. Um, see, next week is week five. I'll be going up north, so maybe I'll post from up there if I have internet connection. Um, but hey, have a great week.